In this video, I will show you how to turn your Anki from this to this. Like many students, I've used Anki to study for exams in medical school. And as I've logged more and more hours with this tool, I've continually tried to find ways to experiment and improve how I use it. If you find that you are tired of studying or perhaps a little bored of using flashcards, here are three ways to make Anki more fun that you can implement right now. Later on, if you end up liking what you see and want to replicate how I've set everything up, I've linked a file with all my add-ons, which includes my preferred settings and custom backgrounds to this video description. And I'll show you how to install that in less than five minutes at the end of the video. So the first thing you can do to make Anki more fun is to install an add-on called Kantanki. And what this add-on enables you to do is control Anki with a remote control. And this has a benefit in that you have another input method. You don't have to slouch over your keyboard while flipping your flashcards. You can study while standing up and stretching, and you can also do your Anki off of your TV if you want. Having another input source that is a wireless game controller helps to gamify the experience, ease the monotony of studying hours on end, and improve ergonomics. Okay, so the second thing that you can do is improve the appearance of your Anki dashboard. The default for Anki is pretty bare and boring to be honest. So installing a couple of more add-ons, you can customize your Anki background to your photo of choice. You can change the size of the interface, which includes your flashcards. Um, you can change the size of your buttons along with the color and styling of them. Basically, you get more options to customize your Anki to look the way that you want it. And if you plan on using this tool for many hours each day, I think it is beneficial to make it look like something that's more appealing to the eye. Number three involves creating a sense of urgency and reward. So having a sense of urgency is an important step in the gamification process and helps to ensure that you are focused and productive while doing your flashcards. One way to do this is to tweak your answer timer settings to automatically flip the flashcard after a certain period of time. And this encourages you to focus and to try to get the answer in your head before the card automatically flips on its own. You also have the option to show a timer for how long you've seen the card, but I personally chose not to do that because that's too stressful for me. Uh, the second way to implement a sense of urgency is to install an add-on called Smart Spacebar, which changes what your spacebar does depending on how long it took for you to flip the card. I've tweaked the add-on settings to mark a card as easy if I flip the card within a certain time period after seeing it. And although it's a minor change, it does help me to remain focused by encouraging me to answer cards faster. As for the rewards part, it's just one add-on called Puppy Reinforcement that displays a cute picture of a dog after every set number of cards that you complete. So that's it for the three ways to make Anki a little more fun. And this is how you bulk install all the add-ons you've seen in this video. Okay, so if you click the link in the video description below, it will lead to a page that looks like this. And what you wanna do is put in zero here. I'm not gonna charge anything for this. If you wanna donate something, that's totally up to you. Um, but click I want this, put in your email, and then you can download the file here. Give it a few seconds to download. Here I have my download add-ons on this side and then my Anki on this side. So in Anki, you're gonna wanna click uh, Command or Control Shift A, uh, which is gonna open the add-ons window. And then in this window, you wanna click View Files, which is gonna open up all the add-ons that you have already installed in Anki. Um, so if you're missing a few or if you're starting uh, fresh without any add-ons, what you want to do is select all the downloaded add-ons and then drag them over and uh, that will bulk install all the add-ons and all the settings that I mentioned in this video. So that's pretty much it.